watching a we are on sort of a it's not are they black pilled is it black pilled when it's just like you don't you don't think that you're gonna have uh any any relations ever um i found the world's most blue pilled man pure delusion um anyway let's see skinny would you date me if you were skinny yeah i would date you right now okay that's sweet first of all that guy is very good looking as our most hot fat guys because we're all hot second i love this girl's answer and every other girl's answer in this video because men it doesn't matter what you look like if you're cool and you work on yourself and you have a personality women or the or women uh men they's everyone will be attracted they's. to you because you are attractive uh this is pretty true by the way uh this is this is a pretty it true is thing um uh, uh, the riz helps I won't I won't deny that the Riz helps. Um he he did mention and you work on yourself, that's important too. So being clean uh not like neat necessarily. I'm certainly not a neat person, but like being physically not not like the smelliest, greasiest, um uh, being approachable, being safe, um and and having a personality, a, a, contributing something to the room. I can't tell you how many people could benefit from simply not being quiet like they think that if they just shrink into the fucking background that they're not seen and it's like no you're seen more if you're the most quiet person in the room everyone sees you you should have confidence in being able to be yourself and and people will st it's crazy how much more you will blend in if you just are who you are out loud <laughs> like for all the masking it's hard i i as a very socially an adept person, I guess I've never had this problem. I cannot tell you if you just uh, if you if you were just contributing to the conversation um, and being yourself, people will like you. I I promise. <laughs> I promise. Over time, like maybe you're not for everybody, but you know <laughs> they're not for not everyone's for you too. It's not about what you look like or what your meat sack looks like. It's about the content of your character. Ah! Ooh, very bright. Guys, men like this are beyond saving. They don't want to put in the work. They are lazy, <laughs> deluded, uh -huh. catastrophically out of shape. It's me. And all made worse by the fact they are spreading this delusion to the young minds of today. Um, okay. So you can work out. It's totally fine. Fitness is good. Absolutely. You do not need it to be an attractive person. That's incorrect. You do not need to work out to have value as a man or to be manly at all. Uh, it doesn't increase or decrease your manliness to work out or not to work out uh, in any direction. Uh, it simply makes you more or less a guy that works out. Uh, what you need to take is the value of working out out of the equation, like social value. There is no social value in it. Not everybody values it. They don't care. They're eating tater tot casserole. They don't give a fuck if you're on the treadmill. Um, they just want to live happily and freely in whoever they are. You're putting on pretense. You're putting on... Um, you're putting on this mask of insecurity and it doesn't need to be there. You can run on the treadmill and play sports and be a big jock. I've been a jock in my life, but my, you know, I got injuries and it hurts and just, you know, now I'm a big guy and that's what it is. And it's fine. It's never, it's never hurt me. Um, I've been, I've been fucked better as a big man than I ever was as a skinny man. So maybe that has a correlation, huh? Look at the difference this guy could have to his dating life. What? Six out of ten? What are we doing here? If he put in the work. Are you... Wait, is he attracted to men? Are you just... Are they just attracted to men? He could be a six out of ten. I, there's this big subculture of rating where six out of ten is just like the highest you can ever fucking give anybody. <laughs> I don't understand. I I don't get it. <laughs> he photoshopped him to be fat. No, I understand that he's doing that. I'm saying, like, I don't understand the mindset. 
You don't need to be an expert to know that the man on the left uh-huh. actually poses a threat if you are competing with him over the same girl. Uh... Okay. So that's so fucking weird to think about that way. That's a, just a strange... That is an incredibly strange way to think about stuff. Uh... Whoa, wow. You should, you should just treat women like they're they're humans. It'll go just fine, I promise. Whereas, for the two guys on the right, these pose no threat whatsoever. I'll steal your girlfriend. It wouldn't be the first time. Instead, they are nothing more than a laughing stock. I have literally, look, I've accidentally been the other guy before. I didn't even know it. Look, it wasn't, and I was a big guy. It wasn't my fault. I didn't try. I didn't know that uh, anyone was dating anybody else. And I observed monogamy at the time. I was, you know, I was like, what the fuck, man? Why didn't you tell me? But it's okay. It makes you wonder, why do guys like this continue to believe in their own delusions? Because we have experienced success in the realm that you say we should never experience success in. We, we have relationships with women successfully all the time, regularly. Uh... <clears throat> They like us. I don't know. I don't know what it is. The answer's simple, really. It is. They'd rather live in a world of emotional comfort where they don't need to face harsh truths like women care about looks. Women care a little bit about looks in the same way that most people care a little bit about looks. Uh, so mostly when people care about looks, they don't care about how their partner looks. They care about how people perceive how their partner looks because they want to be known as someone with a hot girlfriend or a hot boyfriend or whatever. It's almost always the social implication of the, the, the relationship uh, rather than actually that's my personal standard. And I'm just, eh, I'm just ickied by everyone else because you'll always find those people that fed it. Those same people that, that have this, like I care about looks facade uh, will fucking fetishize fat people, will fuck ugly people, um, will, you know, they'll fuck people like normal. Everyone, everyone fucks everybody. Um, you know, everyone's pretty hot to some extent. You know what I'm saying? Like, everyone's got, everyone's got a little bit of it in them as long, it just is about their personalities. And that's, tr- like, true. Go! It's definitely true. Like, like, if you, I don't know, like, <laughs> If we, if your personality is good, and you're a little freak, I'll probably be more attracted to you. <laughs> like that, it just is what it is. I, if you're if if you're real cute, uh, that's good too. You're probably cuter though. Like it just happens. It just happens. You get cuter. Uh, this is the guy that I sent his 100 black pill beliefs in one video when Sarah ran the stream. Oh, he's uber black pilled. Has he shown face? I would love to talk to Wheat Waffle. They choose food and indulgence Mm -hmm. over physical freedom and attractive girls. So, I've actually chosen all of it. (laughs) Nope, actually took it all. Just did all of it instead. I didn't have to choose. I, I don't really eat burgers that often. What's my favorite thing on here? My very f- ooh, this is a, this is like a gyro or something, shawarma. Got yeah, French fries in there or some shit. Um, this isn't actually just ketchup and mustard. How fucking dare us? Um, I guess of all of this, if this is a diet coke I'm in, but if this is shawarma or a gyro, has red onion. I'm I'm gonna go with this shawarma looking situation. It's probably my favorite thing on there. Um, and I've I've never done push ups on a log, but I have done them on a raised platform. Um, you can also, a little fitness stuff for you, if you have a hard time doing push-ups, um, there's no shame in it. You can do a push-up at any fitness level. Um, do it from your knees. I'm serious. Um, do it on the wall. If you don't, if we could do, maybe we'll get in shape together, chat, uh, for simply because, like, there's some way to get my jock out. Um, (laughs) but nothing on my ankle hurts. Uh, so go to the wall and just, like, lean against it and do this if you can't do a full push-up and then eventually you will be able to do one you can do them off the edge of your like if you can put your imagine laying chest first on off the edge of your bed or uh couch if it's long enough or something with something long enough 
um, that you can kind of do that. You can also do push-ups of varying difficulty. Uh, you know, you can put more of your body weight out there. You can slide off the edge of the, you know, you can lay on your bed and slide off the edge of it and do do uh, harder and harder push-ups. Um, lots of easy ways to do push-ups if you're low mobility or, or low fitness, um, but you will increase. Um, anyway, that's you don't have to do it on a log, and then eventually you'll be doing it on a log if you want. Or you don't have to. You can just pick up another shawarma. Um, they're heavy. <laughs> just lift, lift the shawarma twice and then take a bite. That's it. Uh, and then hotties. Um, so as a big guy, I have had sex with and or um, other r- r- kind of romantic relationships with pretty much every size of girl. It's never really mattered. Um, I'm... Uh, definitely because of the propaganda about male bodies... At, at times, pretty befuddled by people who are attracted to me, but nonetheless, it happens. Um, you know, skinny people, uh, big people, Go. medium people. I like a little squish, I'm not going to lie. I also like a lot of squish. Um, you know, it's a whole thing, but I don't really have, like, a body preference. Uh, and I don't think most people have much of a body preference. I think they have, like, a cleanliness and vibe preference. Um... It's, you know, and you find certain things attractive on people sometimes. And you can't really help it. You're like, ooh, that person's lips are nice or something. Uh, as, as a non-corporeal being, how do I work out in the sixth dimension? Uh, I only know the fourth dimension. You just have to do push-ups on time. What's the fifth dimension? I don't know that one. So I don't even know the sixth. I think the Tralfamagorians are on the fifth dimension, which is from Slaughterhouse-Five. They might not realize or even believe anyway, it this is the opportunity cost of their own problem. But ultimately, this... What if you have an arthritic wrist? Don't... Well, I mean, if it hurts you to do a push-up, don't do a push-up. You can do something else. This is what the decision comes down to. Do a lunge. If you choose get, food um, for a long enough time frame squats? where your body fat percentage exceeds 30%, uh-huh. you... Looks... Uh, I'm not at a 50 um, I don't have this little crease here. I think I'm at a 30, 35. Um, this is a smaller tummy than me. Wait, this one's kind of bigger, though. Wait, never mind. Hold on, wait. This... Okay. I don't know if this is 30%. This one looks chubbier. Anyway, so I feel like I'm in between these two guys. Anyway, he has bigger titties. <laughs> Uh, this, oh, you know what it is? This guy, this guy, I don't think had as much athletics in his background, maybe? I could be wrong. This guy didn't, for sure. Interesting. 30%. You are 100% guaranteeing you forego these two things. Yeah, I don't think these are accurate, uh, de- depictions, though. Anyway, so... What I'm saying is, uh, you can be a chubby guy and who no one cares. I mean, some people care. Some people care a lot, but it's it's not like actually. In my experience, it it's not been like an actual fucking body discomfort thing. It's been about the social implications of being with a like a big person, like this kind of stuff. Like it's 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 insecurity about other shit. Just ask yourself. When have you ever seen an obese guy with a hot woman? All the time! (laughs) God damn it. Never. Every day. In fact, if you type mixed weight couple into Google, you will see... Mixed weight couple? Several images of an obese woman with an in-shape man. But zero the other way round. This shows the real extent and severity of the opportunity cost. The Google search shows that? Um, I don't know, man. Uh, there's literally one on screen. There was. And to continue past the intro, in this video, <laughs> I'm going to explain how this cost is something as a man you simply can't afford. So anyway... No more needs to be said with regard to this embarrassment of an individual. So now moving on to example two. There's this TikTok page where a guy interviews people on the street and asks the same question every time. Are you slamming? Are you slamming at the moment? Uh Now, 
I've watched every one of his videos. Wow, every and... single one of them. This guy is... Uh... He is consumed by this belief. Nine times out of ten, when there is one guy and one girl in the interview, they both answer yes. However, that was until I came across this clip. Mm-hmm. And even before hearing their answers, I knew with one million percent certainty they'd unequivocally say no. Slamming at the moment. <laughs> no. 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 Just friends. Just friends. Oh, Work colleagues. Work colleagues, yeah. yeah. Work. What are you working? Nightclub. Nightclub. Right. Promote are you guys promoters? No. God no. Because you know what I would do? I'm a promoter myself. And I promote you guys. I prov- I promote you guys slamming to be honest okay i honestly think how long have you been friends if you don't mind me asking what about a year you know i've been friends right i've been opposite gender friends with people for let's say this is the british are not okay they don't need (laughs) yeah what if she's gay what like i don't know man (laughs) why does this have to why does it have to why it's pretty uncomfortable. Say, you know, a year, right? And after a year, it gets to the point where it's like, right, what are we going to do? Are we really just going to be friends for this long and not f- I'm just saying, I'm pitching it out to you because I really think, look at this guy. I mean, he's f- sexy, right? Isn't he? Probably got a big schlong on him too. We need to relax. Don't sexually harass either of us, man. Oh, boy. What do you have to say? <laughs> not much, to be honest. Fair enough. Fair enough. I honestly think, you know, just think. Will you think about it? Will you at least think about it? Give it some thought. No, babe. I don't even know why I show you guys these examples sometimes. So these two people aren't fucking. And that means two things to this guy. Number one, no chubby guy will ever have sex with a girl. And, or a hot girl. Number two, uh, he will also never have sex. He's blackpilled. I don't know how these, I don't know how they link. Once you understand the importance of looks as a man, you realize it all just becomes so predictable. In terms of dating value, this man is in a different universe to her. Why? What? I don't think so. I've seen couples that look like them. Man, this is just not true. I love the girl's reaction at the beginning. The way she's like, no. You can see her facial expression of disgust. How she's repulsed just by the idea of what the host suggested. It's inappropriate, man. He's honestly lucky that they even get to be friends. Because we all know if she were to ever see this guy's profile on a dating app, she would no think, no hesitation, no sympathy, left swipe. (laughs) No sympathy. Do you want, when you're on Tinder, do you want people to be sympathetically swiping left on you? Aww. Swipes left? Oh man, that's just too bad. Swipes left. (laughs) Okay. She wouldn't even make it to the first word of his bio before banishing him. They are friends and spend time together. What if they're just not romantic? So much for personality being important. Online dating apps are 100% looks. And for the BP deniers out there who say, Bro, just go out in real life, bro. Online dating isn't the same, bro. Touch some grass, bro. How many conversations with women, though, do you have? Like, it's not about going outside and touching grass, uh, bro. It's about, like, humanizing women and just understanding that they're just real people. And you can just have normal relationships with them. And sometimes they'll become romantic. And that's okay. And sometimes they won't. And that's okay. So just... (laughs) 
It's not about this stuff. It's about, I would love, love, love to talk to this guy. Just look at real life couples, bro. Uh-huh. Looks aren't everything, bro. Speaking of touching grass, I already did in my. I already did. Uh. <laughs> my universe is so moist that it's actually dripping. All of these people look normal. Once he's like, hey, I don't know, man. Uh. This may come as a shocker, but platonic relationships are a thing and good for us. Yes, they are. Chrono Stampede simping for your wife who's hot? <laughs> Yikes. Imagine simping for your wife. Us T face ratings videos where subscribers got the chance to send their photos and get them rated by real girls in the real world. Uh huh. Lacking on the hair side again. <laughs> <laughs> Not really my type. I don't know. I'd say a two. <laughs> two. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the buzz cut and the eyebrow slit. Um, I'd give him a two. So it's because of their fuckboy energy. Do you see how? Do you see how? None of them are smiling. Really, <laughs> the 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 guy with the highest rating is smiling with full teeth, full cheese smile. You feel me? Like, there's no, <laughs> you're like, yeah, what's this fucking, he just. Way too old, way too old, one. <laughs> I just personally, for me, shaven head isn't my thing, but I'm sure that that's somebody else's thing. So I'm afraid he's going to go down there. Not the best photo again. He's somewhere in between. Yeah, not my time. <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't think I'd ever talk to him in my life. Uh, <laughs> I think you get the idea from this. He could have received seven plus if he was lean. Damn, Wayne. Damn, Wayne. The average rating, this... Your boy thinks that you're hot. But you could be hotter. man received was a 2.1 out of 10 uh -huh. and don't try to tell me it had nothing to do with his body fat percentage it i don't think it did i think it has to do with the vibe of this picture it's in front of like a messy bed he's not wearing his shirt i don't know it's just a bad picture for this it, it like <laughs> In interviews like this, you need to understand the reasons women say are just polite cover-ups. Oh, okay, so everything that the women said was lies. How I am attracted to the boys is how women are attracted to the boys. That's pretty fucking gay, man. I think, just, maybe you should try, maybe you should try men. He, sir, he spends a lot of time photoshopping men to be hot. Of course they're not going to say it's because he's obese. Do you think people are raised without manners? He's not obese! That's why they're more likely to say permissible things, such as his hair being <laughs> yeah, off, man, or his stop. eyebrow slit, no. which can be fixed within weeks. Elaborating on this idea about people lying to save men's feelings... Fixed. What's Fixed? But he wants his hair short. He can have his hair short. Let him... <laughs> Obese. Extremely telling is that even those who deny the objective nature of beauty as a whole, those who you, chalk off- You can count on the British for this objective beauty. Wow, dude, you have a lot of pictures of, of sexy boys. You have a lot of sexy boys. Wow, man. Can we, can we see an example of a 9 or a 10? the hierarchy of attractiveness let me see let me see your nines and tens ridiculous idea and not true to real life it's evident none of these people believe a word they're saying and furthermore if you read between their lines you'll find they who's your who's the hottest dude in the whole world wheat waffles who's the hottest man to you Get, let's see your hot top 10 hottest men 
I think this is always just cope. I, just, I, do you actually have attraction to women? What is this about? In fact, agree, there is a hierarchy of attractiveness, and beauty is mostly objective. So, simply put, what I call and hope you call Go. common sense... They are in denial about, and between the lines, they do actually agree with us. It's wild that he thinks that this is like, actually, secretly, they agree. And everyone's like, no, we don't. Uh, but you secretly do. This is the thing with these guys. They're in a community. They want to get a date, but keeps putting each other down. It's self-fulfilling prophecy community. Yeah. They just keep telling each other that each other is ugly. And I don't know why. Like, they're so mad. I got a looks max, dude. True. And to show evidence of this, How do you look a max? perfect example was revealed in this specific part of the clip, which you may have missed the first time rounds. Yep, this is it. This is the moment that's proved it for all of mankind that this relationship was platonic. And they seemed like they were having a good day. One platonic relationship. Fuck, man. Can't be co-workers with nobody. Look at this guy. I mean, he's sexy, right? Isn't he? Did you miss it? I'll play it again. Look at this guy. I mean, he's sexy, right? Isn't he? He sure does. Okay, so he is playing. Look at this guy. He's fucking sexy, and we're just we're just doing a rating system. By the way, there's no like chubby guy here. Like, maybe this guy has the most chub on him? Maybe? More evidence is shown at this part. Just think. Will you think about it? Will you at least think about it? Give it some thought. No, babe. So, uh -huh. why does the host need to sell the attractiveness of the man? Because at no point do either of the two specify who's rejected who and why they aren't in a physical relationship. Now... Obviously, the host is pretending to be a blue pillar, and I actually think he's being quite disrespectful, because he's being sarcastic and clearly knows the man's not even got lottery ticket odds of scoring with her. Scoring. <coughs> I... 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 That is not the goal of every relationship with a woman. I am just simply not trying to fuck every woman I've ever talked to. It just isn't how it works. <laughs> God damn it, man. Asexually watching this video is baffling. Yeah, I, I, I've had friends. I remember I had a friend in um, when I worked at McDonald's, so I was out of high school but in college, and I had a friend who had, um, she graduated uh, from high school and was in col and going into college. And we had been friends, just we've always been friends. We never ever, we're not just friends. And uh, we liked a lot of music and that was in the days of like burning CDs. And so um, we both had CDs in our cars and we're like, oh, hey, this is an album I have. Do you wanna, we swapped CDs sometimes. And then uh, a bunch of us went to her graduation party because she was our co-worker. And that guy today. got so fucking jealous of me because I, we were hanging out and I, and, you know, we're friends. And she laughed while we were all hanging out. And I don't remember the moment. And uh, we left and he came into work, into the McDonald's in our small town a couple days after that. And he was fucking mad at me. He wanted to, like, fight me. And she had to be like, why are you mad at him? And <laughs> It was crazy. Uh, this is the kind like you guys are crazy. Stop being today. little boys. Stop being weird little boys. Scorp tank. Give one to NB Goblin Sage. Quebec. I think I suffer from whiteness. Give one on the Fritz. Doctor Gamble. Man, the Demi's must be looking at this guy's whole looks or everything and being like, "What?" <laughs> True. Thanks for the whiteness. Uh, now you have momentum, chat. However. The main point I want to make is if we assume there are a lot of people out there who believe there he are. actually has a chance. There are a few people out and there. And trust me, there are a lot of these people. Your parents, 
girls that have friend zoned you, and teachers will be some of them. If these girls people that have friend zoned you, I've never been friend zoned. I don't think. I've never wanted to. I've accidentally friend zoned a girl, but I've never been friend zoned. Very confused. Uh, I'm looking for a human being who prefers to play Roar R. Ooh, I don't know this one. To physical contact? The heck is um to? You prefer that over physical contact? <laughs> Just want to play some video games. Hey, I'm sure that there is a little bit of that. I'm sure there's someone out there. A risk of rain. <laughs> Really the believe teachers will what yell they say you. they do. That's right. That they'll, looks, tell you, they'll tell you that you can't date nobody. Don't matter. And a guy like this can seriously win her over by wowing her with his personality. I Th don't think he's trying to do that. But yeah, this is a thing that happens. People date other people. But I don't know. Their ages look far away. I don't think they're like... I just don't think this is a thing that's happening, man. And why does the host try to persuade the woman that the man might be better than what she may have initially thought? Or in other words, how does the host know that it wasn't the obese guy who rejected the girl and the girl was actually very interested? The hmm. answer- Uh, this has also happened to me. <laughs> uh, I, I, <laughs> yep. I've done this before, didn't mean to. Um, I'm the obese guy in this situation. Uh, <laughs> Steam friends greater than romance. Sheesh. Um, the uh, girl, a girl asked me to go to the movies, and I thought she was joking, and I laughed at her, and I made her fat feel bad. I didn't mean to. Yeah, I didn't know she, I, you know, I, I had no interest in going, I just, you know. So, it's because the host assumed the woman rejected the man at some points. He saw the massive difference in their attractiveness, so thought it was obvious that the woman rejected the man, and not the other way around. No, they're going and getting drinks. I don't think there's ever been a rejection. I don't think there's ever had to be. I think they're just friends. You know? it's I hope that made sense. This guy, the, this guy gives I have a girlfriend vibes. But if it's still not connecting, be wrong. here's a similar example. Imagine the man has yeah, a I'm piece of right. in his hand and the oh. woman has the keys to a brand new Mercedes. Now, if the interviewer asks... Is that a... What? What's the... What? Are you guys going to trade what you have? When they both say no, would it make any sense if the interviewer then tried to glorify the Mercedes to- You are so insecure. Men are just pieces of shit. Women are Mercedes things? Uh... Okay. This is unhinged, bro. Yeah, this is- this is pathological. To increase the chance the man wants to trade. Keys to what? The know, answer is, puss, of think? course not. Puss, puss keys? That would be ridiculous. That's all he thinks about. The Gotta smash. If we're not smashing, then I'm just fucking dead inside. Interviewer and man already knows what he has to offer is worth nothing. What he has Meanwhile, to offer is worth nothing. Yeah, women famously just don't like men at all. No woman has ever been attracted to a man for any reason at all. Um, it's just... It's just all about... Uh, Bagging, bagging, tricking a lady into it. Why am I even here if I'm not getting the dick? Well, bro, you slamming? What the woman has is extremely valuable. So, what is more likely to happen is the interviewer will try to glorify what the man has to persuade the woman to trade her Mercedes. But obviously, this would never happen, because what the man is offering is so much lower than the value of what the woman is offering, what? that trying to compare the two would be outrageous and comical. What? What is she offering? Dude, incel math is so fucking weird. 
I assume it's just because he's attracted. He thinks that she's attractive and thinks that this guy is unattractive. And that's it. And that's the only thing that anyone is. Uh, have, have you had conversations with women about stuff, about things? That weren't centered on your fucking looks or trying to date them or anything like just real conversation like spending time with them as people which bring this back to the real interaction this is exactly why the woman gives that heinous reaction of disgust when the interviewer asks if they are together i don't think this was disgust i think this was shock like he sees it as an insult it, from just a mere seemed, suggestion that they might be on the same level. Well, I'm pretty sure it's because this was inappropriate. The same how you would be insulted if someone tried to offer you a piece of for your Mercedes. Uh -huh. Now, if I'm honest, I can't blame the interviewer for making this assumption that the woman doesn't want the man. Because I think we all assume the obvious that if there's two people like this who are just friends, the explanation is that the woman has placed him there as a friend, while the man desires something Go. more. And <laughs> Go bowling or something, just get outside, dude. Get some hobbies. Anything you're sitting here. Well, he can't. He, can't. he said he didn't want to touch grass earlier. He was mad, bro. Um, Man, that's just not necessarily the case. Uh, one or both of them could be queer or something like they could uh, both be in relationships and not be looking for it. they could just be plata platonic as fuck like I have genuinely gone and hung out with girls that I have no interest in having sex with like it's just a real you can do this you can spend time with the girls and for the 1% who doesn't believe me uh -huh. even look at the comments they were all saying that he desires her and he'd be lucky to have his chance. <laughs> and so these are these are the dumbass little kid stereotypes that you have. This is not how reality shakes out, man. This very implication shows we all uh I j <laughs> This is not my experience believe there is a hierarchy of attractiveness so the bottom line and lesson i want you guys to learn from this is that if people try to deny the importance of looks such as your parents or anyone in your life for that matter then don't listen to their words <laughs> don't listen to them. uh my de best friend and I dated for like three days. We mutually agreed that, yeah, no, it was weird. It was like dating with a sibling. Didn't matter. They were opposite sex. This guy is just weird and lonely. Yeah. Fuck you, mom. Yeah. So do you think your mom is hot or something? Like, <laughs> Was your mom hot and that's the only way it worked? Everyone's got a hot mom. Uh, some people just like each other, man. Some people just like each other. It's not weird for people to like me. You know, what can I say? Likeable fella. Uh, and I'm sure the, the other, there's other big kings out here that are also likable. Some of us are unlikable. It happens. Some of us are lickable, apparently. Because chances are they are blue pilled on the truth and will say some liar anyway. The blue and pillars. And instead, read between their lines to try find how it might be implied they actually agree with you. Anyway. I hope I've shown the cruciality of having a lean face as a man and since this was today's we're, we're looks maxing two points in 24 hours topic i thought this would be the perfect opportunity to advertise the black friday sale of my full in-depth looks maxing guides why does he think he looks better by two points in this video or in this picture i have terrible news you look exactly as british uh, uh, you look british there's nothing you can do about it. You look like a British cucumber. You look... It's just... He looks exactly the same. It's just <laughs> a different lighting or something. Uh, looks maxing. Everyone looks max. Um, we're, I'm good. I don't need to run his ad for looks maxing. Chat, uh, how do you looks max the best? I like to, to go to bed. And when I wake up, I take a big shit. 
and then I amble to my bed again, uh, and I and I choose clothes, and then I amble out, and I let Darwin out, and then I, um, you know, might do something. Who knows? That's how I looks, Max. I don't do anything at all. I just wake up like this. Can you believe it? <laughs> Can you believe I just wake up like this? I don't do a thing every day? Wow, how does he do it?